Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Nabil Wasif, and I'm here with my colleagues, uh, Dr. Rick Gray and Dr. Barbara Pajkai. I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about uh, our gastrointestinal cancer program here at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona. Gastrointestinal malignancies are very challenging for us to treat as physicians. They require many complex operations and long periods of treatment with chemotherapy. So if you are, have the misfortune of being diagnosed with one of these cancers, you really want to go to a place where they have experience in treating this, where they have what we call a multi-modality setup, um, and where they will, you will best be taken care of. Gastrointestinal malignancies covers a whole range of cancers, from stomach cancer, pancreas cancer, to other rarer type of cancers called sarcoma. We're going to talk a little bit uh, about stomach cancer first, and my colleague, Dr. Barbara Puchkai, is will elaborate on what we do here for this kind of cancer. Not unlike all other cancers, stomach cancer is a variety of different types. Uh, stomach cancer should not all be treated the same. And here at the Mayo Clinic, we are very uh, concerned about treating each person individually. This starts from the diagnosis, where we need to stage the patient appropriately. We are fortunate here to have our gastrointestinal colleagues who are actually able to do endoscopic ultrasound to better define the extent of the tumor. By finding the extent of the tumor, we then can decide what would be the best approach for the patient. Uh, sometimes surgery first is the best approach. We have multiple options for a surgery first approach, including a minimally invasive approach using laparoscopy. This allows the patients to have their surgery, and then with a much less uh, large incision and much less uh, surgical trauma, and they're able to recover from a large surgery much quicker. Certain patients have a more advanced cancer and need to be treated first by chemotherapy. And this makes it so that the tumor shrinks down and they can get the chemotherapy they need. This is, has, has been shown to improve survivals. And this is when we work with our medical oncology colleagues to see what is the best approach for each individual patient. Thank you, Dr. Pachkai. So as you can see, very, very important to have a coordinated plan of attack for this kind of cancer. There's another type of cancer called sarcoma. It's, ex it's rare. Uh, in fact, some people say it's extremely rare, and it's a deadly disease. You need specialized training to be able to treat this kind of disease, and my colleague, Dr. Rick Gray, is someone who has that kind of training. Thank you. Sarcomas that affect people's abdomens or more specifically the retroperitoneum, which is the back of the abdomen, can be very, very challenging. These tumors have a propensity to come back again after they've been removed surgically. Even in the best of hands, that can happen. So one of the important approaches to this is to treat it with more than surgery in certain patients. Specifically, here at the Mayo Clinic, we are proponents of using a combination of radiation therapy with surgical therapy and have shown that by doing so, we can decrease the rate of this tumor coming back. It's a specialized approach. It needs multiple people to work together in concert. And it's important if you have this type of tumor to find a place where there's multiple disciplines that can work together in this way. Our patients often undergo radiation therapy first, followed by surgical treatment, and we have the capability then of actually delivering radiation right during the operation to the targeted site where it's needed most. That allows our patients to have the lowest morbidity or side effects from the treatment, as well as have the most effective treatment in getting rid of the tumor. But it's important to approach it from more than just a surgery alone standpoint. Thank you, excellent. that was an excellent summary. Uh, finally, I'm going to talk to you about a certain uh, type of tumor that is spread throughout the abdomen, and it can actually be caused by many primary tumors, such as from the colon, from the, can from the stomach. This is, the medical term for this is carcinomatosis, and for many, many decades, this was uh, literally a death sentence for the patients. There was nothing we could offer them, either medically or surgically. Uh, as time evolved, we found that there is a, a somewhat effective therapy, which is called HIPEC. Um, it is a combination of taking out as much of the tumor as you can, and then while you're in surgery with the abdomen open, we put chemotherapy right where it needs to be in the abdomen. 
And we have found that this combination of removing all the tumor that has spread inside the abdomen with the chemotherapy, it gives these patients the best chance they have of reaching a cure. It's a big operation. It requires a lot of resources, and not every hospital has it. We do offer it here. We recently started this program, and we're very excited that we can finally offer these patients uh, an option which they did not have before. If you want more information about any of the cancers that we talked about today, please go to our website uh, at Mayo Clinic. Thank you.